Come Let's on, see Twitch. if it shows me live. Yeah, you're live for me. Perfect. So, <laughs> long time no see, friends. In typical uh, mistakes were made fashion, I made an oopsie and deleted the overlay while trying to make space for the new Apex Legends update. So, I had to fix my OBS, which is why we're a little bit late. That and um, my lovely friends and I are great at talking and accidentally being late, but it's cool. We're fashionably late. We came with Starbucks. We're here to show you a good time. Starbucks, please don't sue me for mentioning you. Anyway. <laughs> good evening, everyone. My name is Avery, and I will be your discount Sam Regal, uh, your lovable little gremlin friend, or most best summarized as um, your newbie DM, who's funny sometimes. I use they, he pronouns, and before we jump into today's session... I'm going to have the players go around and introduce themselves, but before we even start with that, I just want to mention that one of our players, Caleb, um, and their partner had a baby recently, so they will not be with us for any episodes in November. We're thinking they'll be back in December, but that's kind of like a... depends on how baby land's going, so no rush. They'll be back soon, so if you are like, where's Friends? Friends has real-life parent things to do. So, um, now we're going to go in around and introduce everybody. So we'll start with Alicia. Hi, my name's Alicia, and I play Callie, and we both use she, her pronouns. And then next we have, um, hold on, I just lost where it was on the server, because I was, okay, next we have Corey. Oh, that's me. Sorry. Hi. Hi, I'm Corey. My pronouns are he, they, and I play as Lim, whose pronouns are also he, they. And then we have... Do, 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 sorry, I'm starting to multitask. Then we have Flexi. Hi, my name is Flexi. Good evening. I'm... <clears throat> I... Blink. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, my character is Kokia. It is, goes by he, she, or they. I, my name is Flexi, and I go by he, or they. And then we have the lovely Hale. My name is Hale. I go by they, he, and I play Basil, who is he, him, because this is the only place where I get he, him validation. Woo! Okay. And then Stormy. And that was, kind of, that was both sweet and so sad all at the same time. Relatable content. My name is Stormy. I use he him pronouns and I play Finn who also uses he him pronouns. And that's our uh, little round table of the evening. So without further ado, we're going to get into some um, funky little disclaimers. So if you are, if you've been here before, which some of you may have, this will not sound new. In fact, you're probably sick of me saying the same thing all the time, but I just it's important for that we're all on the same page so if you missed earlier episodes if you're not able to watch the whole episode if you're like what are you talking about who's that who are you people I'm scared you can go visit our link tree and all of our information and help can be found <laughs> oh, that bit's not as good as I thought it was gonna be anyway all of our information's on a little handy link tree or you can go to our Twitter our Twitter is I always mix up the letters but it is M W M underscore pod you know, chat us up, hit us up. We'd love to have more friends. So, as you've also probably noticed, this channel has the mature filter on, which means that we kind of intended both streamers and viewers to be over 18. It's not that we're like rated R, it's more like we make potty humor jokes and there's violence and, you know, it's D&D. &D, so maybe um, ask your parents first before you come on over. Um, that being said, there's a lot of improv acting. Oh, excuse me, I burped as I talked. I don't know if my mic picked that up, but anyway. Um, that's the real reason we have a warning is because you hear me burp, just kidding. Um, back to improv acting, we can foresee some triggers, some of them we can't. Um, the most common ones in our campaign are blood and injury, violence and combat, swearing, moderate pounds and potty humor, mind control, amnesia, and betrayal and backstabbing. We usually have a longer, more comprehensive list of triggers when episodes are uploaded to YouTube. If you're worried about triggers, think that we should add a trigger. You know, we have Twitter, Tumblr, you name it, we got it. 
scream at us, politely ask us, you know, we'll make things happen. Tonight's session's gonna run until 1045, because I gotta get up early tomorrow morning, because work, yay! Um... I keep losing my train of thought. Can you tell it's been a long day? So we run it to 10.45 p.m. EST. And we take a break somewhere before the show's over. Usually it's a five-minute break. So if you see the break screen up, we're not gone forever. We're just taking a little wee-wee break. <laughs> I think it was this group that joked about the wee-wee pads, the puppy pads. Or maybe it's a different group. Anyway, I'm trying to be funny. I think I might be trying too hard. You can swipe... I think it's swipe left it's no. You can swipe left if you find me annoying. I promise the players are better. Just just bear with us. Uh, do, 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 do. So, I believe it's episodes 1 through 7 are up on YouTube. Spotify is kind of a work in progress. You know, Mothcat Gaming on YouTube. If you watch on YouTube, it's Mistakes Were Made. Tiefling logo on Spotify. If you want to support us, love us, um, shake your fist at us at any of those locations. So, disclaimer done. Session recap for um, both players and viewers alike. As usual, we're picking up from la picking up from last session. Last session, episode eight. Um, the Twitch vod was accidentally labeled episode seven, but that is actually episode eight that's up right now. So, uh, episode eight, we had friends who was resting in a local inn after experiencing some post teleportation sickness. Uh, friends finally woke up. On his way out of the inn, he encountered a rude, not easily intimidated yuan T person who is intent on finding Farron. Our resonant, not quite god, but also not mortal, info broker. Um, it, the yuan T made it clear that they were looking for Farron for nefarious reasons. Friends and the yuan T argued, and after not getting anything helpful out of their conversation, parted ways. Upon rejoining the group, friends was filled in on how the party found friends corrupt and mom and foiled a plot that would have resulted in the whole town becoming corrupted. While talking with Finn's mom, the party encountered a were owl, yes, were owl, not wolf, owl, hoot hoot, who attacked an alkalite who was rendered har who was rendered harmless while under a charm person spell. Upon getting injured, the alkalite was free from the effects of charm person and started battling the party. While the party re while the party prevented God, I can't talk tonight more volks from becoming corrupted, they have not healed Finn's mom or helped treat any of the already corrupted people yet. So the Cadros Alkali is still unconscious from when you knocked them out last session. You got the Were Owl who's confused and severely corrupted. You got Finn's mom who's also corrupted. Finn's mom was knocked unconscious and now it's really up to end to try to use their decorrupting spear um, and their corruption absorbing powers to help those that are corrupted. And you know, the Were Owl is still awake and kicking. So, friends, what are you what are you doing to remedy this chaotic situation? Are you saying friends like the character friends? Or friends, friends as, F R I E N D S. I was gonna say like the SpongeBob song that I can't remember the lyrics to, but the yeah. Well, F is for friends that do stuff together, and U is for you and me. There we go. And yep. That is for anywhere, anytime at all. Um, so we left off with. God, it's been two weeks. Yep. <laughs> my my memory's already bad when it's been a week. Two weeks is just impossible. Um, are we still in initiative? Or are we uh, well, it depends. Initiative? Do you want to continue to beat up the wear owl, or are you gonna like try to talk it out? I I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Stormy, if is that an okay? Yeah, I was going. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Um, I think we should kind of try and calm the wear owl down. Question mark. Is that the general consensus of what everybody else was feeling, or do we want to battle it? I mean, I got an ar arrow knocked just in case. Okay. We do have. Yeah, we did. I think we all heard the. Don't stop controlling me. I don't. Worship, worship you anymore. you anymore, yeah. Yep, you all heard that. Yeah. So, um... I would stand down. Finn will stand down. What I kind of want to do is... I'm kind of close to them. They're middle. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, real quick. How far away exactly? Where's the little ruler? Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, cool, cool, cool. 
I'm going to uh talk to them and be like hey just so you know I would like your consent for what I'm about to do so I'm just going to tell you flat out uh, I would like to cast charm person on you not to charm you and make you amenable to what I want you to do but rather to just calm you down because I don't think you want to hurt us and I feel like Casting Charm Person on you will help the situation that is going on with you right now so that we can all grouply figure it out. Oh, so you're just talking, kind of trying to convince them right now? Yeah, I'm, I, I want to get their permission before I cast Charm Person. Roll a persuasion check for me. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, no. And the oh, bad no. luck begins. Um, no, no. So, oh. um, they seem kind of on the fence about it, but then, um, I can't remember who, but I, remember, I do remember someone injuring them last time. And yeah. then they just go... Yeah, that was me. You already hit me, why should I trust Oops. you? In between, like, groans of pain and, like, clutching in her head. Fuck. Uh. Oh, I, I have really an idea. Would... Yes, yes, I still yes. have a message, right? Yes, you still have a message still have... from your uh from the Autumn Wizard's magic leaves. Okay. After seeing that Basil has failed to convince the were owl. How do I word this? I'm gonna message the were owl and say I also if you're referring to Kadros, I also used to worship Kadros. I'm kind of in the same boat. As long as you don't harm my friends, I want to help you. So I completely understand where you're coming from. And so, um, the rest of you don't hear this, but, um, Finn hears this. Um... And the where owl responds. I'm trying to think of how to word it without giving everything away. Um, the where <laughs> owl goes. Finally, someone who gets it. Everyone thinks the Raven Queen's the problem, and she is. But but Kadros is worse. He's 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 doing everything, and everything's his fault. And, oh my god, my head hurts. And they can't seem to say anything else other than that, because they're just in so much pain. Oh god, I really want to help, but the only thing that we have that can decorrupt right now is end. So, I don't know, I'm going to be real, this kind of feels like we kind of have like I don't we also know. have me well i i really don't want to hurt lim again you may be ready to hurt lim out of character <laughs> <laughs> or lim may be ready to hurt lim finn is not, not ready a, to hurt lim. not necessarily doing that again but if i'm within a certain distance from them just because i have the um the traveler's amulet amulet their uh the corruption gets negated right only temporarily. Yeah, if you're standing though. within them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So does it really last close. forever? Does... But if you get within five feet of them. Yeah, but if you were to move away, like you'd have to like stand next to this were owl like forever, basically. We could. Oh, no. I we got the rope of mending. <laughs> we can tie you two together like handcuffs or something. You like just until we figure it out. Oh, getting um, a long shirt. It's just speaking... one big oversized T-shirt. So if you're trying to if you're trying to figure out how to help everyone because you guys don't have a lot of corruption fighting tools right now, um, no. for those who want to make a make a perception or a con arcana check. Ooh. I will be doing arcana. Same. Ooh, nineteen. Yeah. So I'm gonna say that. Um, 
everyone notices, some people notice faster than others, but Finn, a while back you picked up a mysterious friend that we haven't talked about a lot, um, a tech of tarot cards, and that deck is now, I think it's still in like your bag pocket, right? Like in your bag. I was I was actually about to ask, could I take out the card? Yeah, so is it, are they Could I just slap this bad boy with it? Yeah, so <laughs> your, 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 um, your, your otherworldly entity that might be a warlock patron, you don't know a whole lot about this creature, um, those tarot cards are like, they're not hurting you, but you can feel them like burning in your bag trying to get your attention, trying to get you to like pull them out. And, and the rest of the group notices yeah, because oh. they're, they're also glowing as they're burning, trying to get your attention. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> it's just like, just one hand, just like, okay, all right. All right. Okay, you're on fire. What, what do you need? Just asking the card. What? So, you know, you, put, you pull out the stack and there's a card on top. But it must be the wrong card or something because the deck shuffles itself and reshuffles. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, sorry. Just to clarify. I thought I only had the two cards. I have the whole deck now? Oh, no, you only had the two cards. Never mind. Um, <laughs> God. The, so, I feel like if I had the whole deck, it yeah, would be. Yeah, no, like, no, no. I pictures. forgot you only had two, but the wrong card's on top, so it shuffles to the right cards on top. And kind of like back in the caves where, like, the back of it changed to show an image of what you should do, it does this again. So, um,. Using, like, a galaxy pattern and, like, stars, it kind of does, like, a dot-to-dot -dot picture of um, what it thinks you should do. But this is not as clear as the caves. This one um, just, like, has an arrow kind of indicating that you need to look behind you. Oh, no. I've seen this horror movie. <laughs> Okay. And I'll as, turn around. Yep. As you look behind you, Fuck. Um, as you look no. behind you, the little the little grung from the kebab stand, um, oh. honey, is standing behind you, um, holding a kebab, and um, and they're not much farther behind them. Emily, the real Emily, the real little Toro girl this time, comes running and she catches up to you and she pants and she goes, Don't! <sighs> how does the fr how does Grung move so fast? Don't trust them! They're corrupted! Don't, don't touch, don't touch the, don't touch the Grung. And it's not until, um, she says that, that you notice is that Honey's once warm, like, dark brown eyes are now pitch black, and, um, they're holding a kebab in one hand, but they're also holding a sword in the other. I, and, I'm not even gonna say anything, I'm just gonna throw the card. <laughs> um, so the card sails through the air, um... It slaps Honey in the face. Um, we'll get to you in a second. Yeah, so it slaps Honey in the face. It doesn't do anything to Honey, but what it does does is just as cool. It does does well. Great English, Avery. What it does do is just as cool. So this time, and it, it doesn't, the pa like, it, the car trembles as it does this, as it's like straining to do this because it's like, a really difficult thing to do just as a single card but it teleports someone to you and that person is someone where if you recognize them or not it's going to depend on how your religion checks goes be so roll a religion check and i'll tell you if you know who this is or if you're just like oh new person we we summoned a god all of us <laughs> i summoned yeah, a god all of you. oh no we all roll religion Ooh. Um, New person I would like to use. I really want this. I really want to pass this, so I would like to use one of my rewards from helping with a wiki to re-roll that. Yes, go for it. Oh, <laughs> slightly better. I got a three. Can I guidance myself. <laughs> Is that allowed? You know, I I'll, I'll say that 
if you're in double digits, you passed it. If you're single digits, okay, you great. didn't. Especially poor, <laughs> poor Hale oh, in the Basil. two. <laughs> oh my god. So um... this is your mom. <laughs> sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. That's a terrible joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so... I'm sorry, Hale. The person before you, um, they are a swamp trident, so they've got scales and eyes, various shades of green, and so are their clothes. Their clothes are made of, like, of moss and, uh, watery grasses and swamp flowers, and the hair looks like the branches of a willow tree, and... Whether you're religious or not, you might have seen, you know, their image in, like, text or stained glass or whatever. The person standing before you is none other than a rule, and I will DM you, not DM, I'll post in the in-character chat how do you spell her name. She uses she, her, uh, she, they pronouns. Um, where's the in-character chat? Boop, 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 boop. Um, she is the daughter of Lyra. And Adia, so Lyra is the goddess of life and is an old god. And Adia is the god of war and is also an old god. So she herself is not an old god. She's a middle god, but she's the daughter of two old gods. So she's still pretty important. Um, and so this mysterious warlock patron just brought you a god. A middle, uh, middle, god, middle god ranked um, to come help you. And... She seems surprised herself to be there. She kind of like blinks a few times. Looks around and goes, You know, I would like it if I could just have one afternoon to myself. Just one afternoon of talking to the swamp fairies, petting the alligators. But no, this whole corruption thing just goes on and on and on and on. And she just like warily rubs a hand down her face. <laughs> and um and I don't think I mentioned what she's the goddess of, but she is the so while her mother is the goddess of life and joy and um her other parents the goddess of war and conflict, she's she as a middle god is actually the goddess of seasons. Um So there's that. Anyway, Back to the scene, so she's like surprised and kind of tired that she's here, but she is willing to help you. So she kind of like clocks all the corrupted beings and just goes, Looks like you're pretty outnumbered. Um, I didn't really come prepared, but if you can keep them from moving around too much, I might be able to help. So let's just try to get them, all the corrupted people, close together. I know it's easier probably with the unconscious person than the others, but let's try to group them together so I can try to try to heal them all in one go. I'm just gonna start going and grabbing all the unconscious people and just putting them in a little pile. <laughs> Don't I... touch them! Oh wait, I can't. Touch. That's right, we can't touch them. Can my unseen servant touch them? Yeah, your unseen servant could. All right. I'm gonna let me cast unseen servant, and I'm gonna make the unseen servant pick up all of the unconscious people and toss them <laughs> in a nice little pile. Um. Where so is... you're doing that, and as you're doing that, she goes ahead and um kind of deals with honey. So honey is probably the most dangerous one here right now, other than the wear owl. And, um, I just realized I forgot to make, um, a rule of sheet, so normally I would have rolled for this, but because I didn't make her sheet, we're just gonna say she manages to knock out Honey and heal them. Um, you've got the others stacked up, um, and she manages to heal most of the others until she's finally down to, um, just your mom and the were owl and it's by these that you can tell that she herself's pretty tired even as a middle god because she's got bags under her eyes she looks she looks like a little pale and she just goes and if you don't mind your your absorption powers might come in handy with this because these two they're just radiating 
corruption. Like, it's... It's just sickening. And N goes, yeah, I don't mind at all. So, um... These two kind of work together to try to heal your mom. And I need to have N to make a con save. So let me get N's sheet open real quick. Boop, 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 boop. If I was smart, I would have had their sheet open sooner, but I didn't. Con save for end. Oh. Oh god. So, um. The good news is all the corruption is now out of the wear owl and out of your mom. The bad news is even with Arul's help, as and absorbs more and more, and Arul doesn't notice this herself because she's too busy trying to help, you know, the your mom. Quinn's mom and the were owl. She doesn't seem to notice, but um, the rest of you, you notice as these two are frantically trying to help these last two severely corrupted people, and like, and who like has dropped to their knees, starts to like sway a little bit, like they're lightheaded, and like they start to fiercely blink their eyes, and like in between blinks, their eyes go from their normal like red orange to black, red orange to black, red orange to black, and um. There comes a point where they blink and they don't blink again and their eyes are all black and um, they haven't said anything yet but they don't seem like they're quite there either. What are you guys going to do? Do I know if trying to heal them will, from a distance, do I know if healing them will help this or make it more likely for them to kill us? Uh... My insight, maybe? Yeah, insight. Okay. 16. So, corruption is kind of a new concept for you, but you do remember talking to N about how their corruption absorption powers work. So, as someone yeah. who is part mortal and also the child of the Raven Queen, they can absorb corruption, but in doing so, they have taken damage to themselves. Um... You don't know quite all the implications of that, but you do know that healing them might potentially make things better. You just don't know for sure because it's not like you guys have sat around and tried it. You know what I mean? Like, I have healed them before. I'm just wondering if this is different. Oh, like, do they seem different? any different than? Wait, it is. Um, I'm gonna say that. So you get you guys did find them injured and like kind of in poor shape back in the caves, but. This seems a little bit different because, like, be because of the, how their powers work, they're always they're always considered like contagious, um, corruption wise, post absorption. But their eyes have, from what you what what you little you've seen, have never turned black after corruption before. So it seems like this might be a bit more of a serious thing going on. End you all right? Um, at that, you get the following response. Let me find my tab. Boop, 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 boop. There um, is no end, only the Raven <laughs> Queen. Um, so at this response, you get, um, a laugh that is definitely not in their voice. Um, and it's a rather, like, like, I'm gonna say, like, cliche, I'm better than you, like, villain laugh. I'm not good at replicating that, so we're just gonna use our imagination, friends. So, cliche villain laugh, right? And, um, the voice, feminine, uh, clearly not theirs, goes, If it weren't for the fact I gave birth to you, I wouldn't believe in my child. How weak and pathetic wasting your time on these mortals. They're gonna die anyway. I'm just speeding up the process. And, like, using, uh, assumably now the Raven Queen, like, makes N turn to look at all of you and, like, God, you're all just annoying misfits, little 
not strong enough to be of worry to me, but just more like annoying little gnats picking at me, picking at me. I really have better things to do, but perhaps I should have my best fly swatter come slap you and put you out of your misery. You really are pissing me off. And this can child I... of mine... Oh, go ahead. Can I cut her off? Yes, and thaumaturgy please please. <laughs> and chant we don't like you brain end back really loud yes you may do that for one minute oh for one minute one, <laughs> one 60 solid minutes. seconds <laughs> yeah 60 seconds solid oh, seconds of chaotic chaos. good motherfuckers so you knock her back and she goes as i was saying you pathetic <laughs> she gets knocked over again Wait, really? Wait. I'm trying to... Whoop, gets knocked over again. This, like, cycle repeats over and over again until finally your thaumaturgy and relentless yelling and wind stops. And she's got, like, end flat on her back, staring at the sky, and she goes... I wasn't... I was wrong about you lot. You aren't just misfits. You're the most annoying creatures I've ever met, and killing you will be my pleasure. But fortunately for you... Well, more like fortunately for End, I'm willing to give them one last chance. So, End, what will be will be be a good child and help your mother, or will you devote these life to devote these your life to these pathetic mortals? You know, I once hoped that you would take over my domain for me. I might even be able to promote you to a young god or middle god. But you really have embraced your mortal side far too much. You're empathetic. You're weak. You care about whether people are not whether people like you or not. People don't like Death God's end. They hate us and nothing you will do, because trust me, I've tried, nothing you could ever possibly do will make them like you. As it is, I'm pretty sure most of your friends, at least I know one of them, was terrified of you when they met you. So why don't you just give up and be what you're meant to be? the death god that everyone is terrified of and at this she grows quiet and you can see end blinking again like they're trying to like get her to go away um can i do something yeah go ahead i think i don't think finn does this on purpose i think he's so upset by how the raven queen is talking to end because it's suddenly reminding him of how he's been talked to in the past that as an action, I activate radiant consumption, and I shed bright light in a ten-foot radius. And I think as part of Finn activating this ability, his eyes just go pure, like, golden. Yes. And he... He's gonna take damage, by the way. He's gonna take, like, two <laughs> radiant damage in about six seconds. But he just kind of walks up as best he can. He looks a little bit like he's in pain. And he just looks down at End and goes, You're not your mother. You don't get to choose who your parents are, okay? We're here for you. That's it. Perfect. As you do this, um, a rule who was kind of like stunned for a second, like she was surprised by witnesses and herself, she follows behind you. She goes, you know, my mother tried to like you, tried to give you the benefit of the doubt. And normally, I'm not the type, nor are my parents are the type to say they hate people. But I really fucking hate you. This is no way to treat family. And as she says this, um, are you still, how long does your radiating light thing last, Finn? It lasts until I end it as a bonus action. So um, as... And since it's been... Oh, yeah, so it's been six seconds. I'm actually within ten feet of Oral, so I think they take, like, two radiant damage. I need to take two radiant damage real quick. Ben kind of winces in pain. Um, I'm just going to keep it activated, and I will yeah. continue to take damage until the Raven Queen fucking leaves. And if it means that I pass out in the process, then so be it. So as um, Arul says that, and... Um... She then turns to you, Finn, and she just goes, I know we just met, but do you trust me? Winces again as he takes two more damage and just nods. So at this, she puts her, not 90, up close you can see that her hands are webbed, like, 
a typical try, and she puts one webbed hand on your shoulder, and as you do so, not only does she absorb and repair the damage you got done, but she, um, she amplifies your radiant light, and oh. okay, <laughs> there's a flash of white, and um, you hear the Raven Queen go. Laugh now, but I'll make sure you and your pathetic fucking mother die first. And then the Raven Queen's gone, and you're left with End, like, furiously rubbing their eyes and, like, slowly pushing themselves up back into their feet, and the Raven Queen is gone. Calia put her bow down and just be like, fuck that bitch. Finn definitely, like, at this point will turn off the, the bright and just go back to normal. And has looks a little hurt. Um, He just, he kind of holds his side for a second as he leans on his cane. And he's just like, oh, fuck. I don't like that. I don't want to do that ever again. That sucked. And are you okay? I mean, all things considered, are you? Can, are you? Am I good to touch you, or should I stay over here? Well, to, to surprise of no one, that's not the first time my mother has treated me horribly. So, I'm gonna say, as good as I can be, considering everything that's happened. It's not every day that you get possessed by your evil mother. Um, Looks over at well, Finn's mother. Anyway, continue. <laughs> um, I'm just glad that I'm with you folks now, or that might have gone a little differently. And it's as you are having all this little moment that the um that the autumn wizard comes running up to you. Or rather to a rule and goes Oh my gosh, I need to have you help these people over Oh, you're here already. I meant to I meant to get her sooner, but I was dealing with a thing because there's a lot of stuff there was still a lot of rats and stuff, and I guess I probably should have prioritized the corruption thing, but you guys seemed like you had to handle it until you didn't, and then I was gonna go get her. And then Emily was like, I'll go see if I can find her and then I was like, Okay, did you find her? And then long story short, I was trying to get you help, but I got sidetracked. But I'm gonna offer the autumn wizard some French toast to calm him down. Oh the autumn wizard like happily That's takes a piece. Yeah. <laughs> happily toast. takes a piece and like just like inhales that and is like, oh my god, that's so good. Anyway, Autumn Wizard, I of course know the goddess of seasons. Like, how would I be the Autumn Wizard without knowing the goddess of seasons? And Rural just like laughs and she goes, You're not always the most timely, but you did help them some, so I am thankful for that. Um, and she turns to look at you all and goes, it seems we have a lot to talk about. Perhaps we should gather our new friends. And she motions to the um, were owl, who is still kind of stuck in their were owl form, just no longer corrupted. And your unconscious mom, and she goes, um, "Why don't we take your new friends to a safe location?" Which I think Emily was offering her family's orchard, and we can have a chat because I think we're overdue for one. Finn is wondering in this moment, <laughs> he's got that notebook talking about worship of gods. Does it count if he's met the god? <laughs> and he's just, he takes out his journal, like, while this is happening. He takes it out, he's like, does this, does this, just quietly to himself, like, does this count? I'll figure it out, I'll later puts it away. And it's just like, yeah, yeah, we should, we should talk, and then looks over it. Mrs. Goldenrod is just like, uh, is it, am I cool to, like, get her back home or am I are we taking all of the people to the orchard so at that rule says well I'm not the, I don't like telling folks what to do um, but I think we all should meet for a chat because um, I don't know how much you talked with corruption because I know I don't know ends probably told you a little bit with corruption but I don't know if they told you this already apologies if they have but once, if you've been corrupted once, you are more susceptible to getting corrupted again. So, your mother probably won't be safe at home. Uh, whereas, and this is part of the chat I want to have with you, um, is 
as crazy as it sounds, she'd probably be safer in the Feywild because um, the Feywild is my yes. mother's in my home domain, and that is the one place the Raven Queen can't enter. So if we keep her there, she'd be safe and not at risk of being corrupted again because the Raven Queen can't quite literally cannot go there. So you want to send my mother to the Feywild without telling my dad? Because, like, they're pretty close. I feel like if my mom disappears suddenly, that's going to be pretty bad. She's also kind of a major priest here, so that would... Well, to be quite honest with how much has been happening in this town, and I... and. I really do apologize for not coming to help this town sooner because I am only one. I mean, I am a goddess, but I am only one goddess after all. Um, there's quite a few people that we need to send to the Feywild. And there's also, I mean, the Feywild is large, but there's also only so much room in the Feywild. So we might have to do some rearranging of who we think goes best there. If you want both parents to go there. Because your father was also crumpted at one point as well. I did manage to oh. run onto him on my way here. And help him. Um, I didn't send him to the Feywild yet. Because I figured he'd want to talk first. Um, I nice disguise by the way. And she like motions to your Matt Mercer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah you know disguise. what. I think the fact that I fooled my mother. Pretty impressive. Because <laughs> she's. Uh, my mom's pretty screwed with that kind of stuff. She used to catch me stealing cookies, even when I thought I was doing a good job of hiding it. But, uh, yeah. No, do you want to hear the voice I have for them, too? Yes, please do. Hello, my name is Leslie Larry. I have been practicing this voice for way too long, and it sounds absolutely ridiculous. Okay, well, I, I didn't normally talk like that, but... <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm talking to straight up talking to a god. Um, it's, it's nice to meet you, how do you pronounce your name? Arul? Arul. It's like Arul. Arul. I know my mother is a fan of cool. some rather difficult names. At least, I think at least her name's easy to pronounce. Lyra's pretty easy on the tongue. Yeah. Um, as it is, well, we should gonna, go. I, we're going to say that you're all yeah. walking to the orphanage and carrying people and whatever. So you guys are talking as you're walking. And she just goes, We have a lot of things to talk about, but I think the most pressing is. Um, how much do you know about the Traveler? I point- I just gestured a limb while we kind of have a- A yeah, Despite worship. being the ambassador- the current ambassador of the Traveler, my knowledge is limited, unfortunately. That would be the Raven Queen's doing, though, because she has erased much information about them already. As it is, mm. um... My mother is currently residing in the Feywild because, well, the situation is quite tense.